to Josh on his 37th birthday. Go! Like over half of the world now, your birthday has come and passed during a global pandemic. Unlike most everything else this year, the pandemic couldn't cancel that event. You thought, hoped, that the pandemic might be over by mid-August. And even when it became painfully obvious that that couldn't possibly come to pass, when the day arrived, you felt a little irrational disappointment when you grabbed your mask. It's not an important birthday, this 37th one. In fact, the number 37 probably couldn't be less notable if it tried. Perfectly bland. If it was a color, it would be beige. It's the nickelback of human ages. It was the coldest birthday you can remember. Cold is always relative in August, of course, but by that evening, as the rain fell and the wind blew, it felt more like October. Ten days before, you went to the emergency room in the worst pain you've ever felt. It was a kidney stone, they said. It took longer than you expected to feel better, and the whole experience made you feel impossibly old for some hard-to-pinpoint reason. The early days of 37 have been uneventful and melancholic. Broken sleep schedule. You've been watching old episodes of This Old House, which sounds like a perfectly 37 type of thing to do, doesn't it? You're not alone in feeling uncertain about the future these days, but somehow knowing you're not alone makes you feel even more alone. So, happy birthday, Josh. The world is lit by lightning these days. Blow out your candles. And so, <laughs> goodbye.